Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to be back here with you. I've actually taken quite a long break from filming on this channel. The last video I filmed was back in July. I actually just shared it two weeks ago. It was the Chelsea Project Tour, which seems to be doing really well. Um, but so much has happened since July. It's now October and since I was last with you guys, I have installed two projects in the Middle East. They are absolutely enormous, some of the best work we've ever done. And very excitingly, we were also allowed to film them. So the project tour is coming very soon. You do not want to miss them. I think the houses were between 20 to 30,000 square feet. Um, they have like their own home spa, such luxurious, beautiful interiors. I'm really, really proud of them. I have also launched a whole new collection with Addison Russ. I've talked on this channel before about the photo frames that we launched a year ago. And we've been working on this for about, oh, well, maybe over a year, um, but we've launched an extensive accessory collection with them. So I'll just show you a little sneak peek, but I'll show you that in more detail later. That's all faux char green. Um, on a personal note, I became an auntie again six weeks ago to a gorgeous baby girl. Um, she lives really close by my sister and her husband. So that's been so special, getting lots of baby cuddles. Um, really nice. I'm definitely not having any more kids myself, but being an auntie is the absolute best because you get to have all the cuddles and still have your sleep. And then last week I turned 40 and that has been like such a, I mean, it's a big moment in anyone's life when you turn a milestone age, but I think it's been a real focus for me this year. Like everything's been gearing up to 40. Like, how do I want to feel? How do I want to look? What do I want to be doing? And I have to say, I'm my happiest I've ever been since turning 40. I had an amazing party and I'll share some photos from that. Um, but it's also given me a real sort of shift that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, but one of them that I'm going to get started with is the fact that I think in my 20s and my 30s, like I really didn't prioritize myself. It takes so much time and energy to launch a business, run a business, have babies and young children. So my 20s and 30s have been all about that and like tiny little elements of me time. Um, and obviously, like I still want to be a really present mom. I still love my job, but I think it's just focused my mind that I do need to look after myself as well. And um, so I've been doing a lot more self-care, working out and um, been doing a bit of shopping because I really wanted to like get to know like what is my style that I want to have as I'm going into my 40s. It's definitely shifted. I've always been into timeless classic pieces, um, but it's something that's really like at the forefront of my mind and I'm spending a bit more time on fashion and I'm really enjoying it. So I wanted to share some of the things that I have bought or received and loved in the last month. And if you look around me, I have to say this is not the normal amount of stuff that I would normally get in a month, but obviously it's been my birthday. Um, and plus we're going into autumn and I always like to get a few special like jackets and cardigans as we're changing the season into those colder months. Um, so for today's video, I've partnered with Goelia and it's a new brand to me, um, but I absolutely love their stuff. When they got in touch, I had a look at their website and picked out some of my favorite pieces, including this cardigan. Such beautiful details. So I'm gonna share with you, first of all, a little haul from their latest collection and how I've styled it before we get into the rest of the video where I share some of the collection, some of my like bags that I've bought, um, and also have a catch up on what has been happening in my life. So let's get started. This jumper from Gorelia I absolutely love. I really like a nice thin knit. Um, again, it's great for layering up and it doesn't add too much bulk. The color is the perfect color of taupe and I feel this is a great staple for any wardrobe. You could dress it up with a skirt or dress it down with some jeans. It's just an absolute classic. Gorelia have so many chic autumn coats. This is one of my favorites. I love the elevated details like the blanket stitching on the sleeves and all the way down the front. And just little details like their zip is so beautiful. And I love the combination of materials they've done with the gold, with the camel tan. It's just such a classic combination. And I've gone for a slightly oversized look. This is the medium um, because I like to wear big jumpers and layer up in the winter. Um, but I would say it runs very true to size. This is probably my favorite coat from the whole Goelia collection. It's pure cashmere and it feels so soft. You can really tell the quality. I love the oversized shape of it. It's so versatile. So you could wear it dressed down with jeans. You could wear it with a more formal cocktail dress. Um, and it gives you a lot of space if you want to layer up more jumpers. Obviously this is just their thin knit um, jumper that I'm wearing right now. 
It's got so many beautiful details, like if I show you the buttons up close, they're in like a matte, almost looks like a bone finish. And it's just those little details that really elevate these pieces and make them feel so special. I absolutely love a cape and this one has very English heritage vibes. You can either wear it open like this or if the weather's slightly colder you can button it up which gives a much more tailored appearance. Today I'm wearing it with jeans but I think you could also wear it with some smart trousers and it would be great for work. Um, I absolutely love the herringbone fabrics, a beautiful wool and it's just that perfect coat for when you've got that transitional weather. It's not super freezing, but you just need an extra bit of something to keep you warm. So that's my top three picks um, for autumn coats from Goelia. And I just wanted to share with you a couple more pieces that I couldn't resist. This gorgeous cardigan. They're kind of like between a jacket and cardigan, so bear with me. I was so happy to get my hands on this cardigan. I've seen it on quite a few people that I follow on Instagram and it just has real quiet luxury vibes. To me, it really reminds me of classical Chanel jackets, but it's much more wearable because it's a really comfortable cardigan. I love it with jeans. You could also pair it with some tailored trousers or a skirt, and I would happily wear it for work to meet clients, go out for lunch with friends. Little details that I love is the darker trim with the ivory, and then also the buttons are really beautiful. They have such a lovely detail that you have to see up close. All these kind of details make such a difference and just give it that really quiet luxury that I love. This is the second cardigan that I chose from Guelia's collection and I absolutely love it. I love a stripe and it's also very on trend. And I think they've combined it so nicely with these beautiful ornate gold buttons. It's a very versatile piece. You could wear it in winter with jeans or black trousers, but also if you pair it with a white skirt, it's perfect for spring or summer. So it's something that I think you'll get a lot of use out of. So all of these pieces that I've worn are available from Goelia. I absolutely love them. They're just timeless classics and they fit so well into my wardrobe. If you do like any of the pieces that I've shown, make sure you use the discount code SP25. It's also in my description box um, to get an extra 25% off any of their pieces on their website. And I highly recommend you check out Goelia. So now that we've done the fashion haul, I wanted to just share with you the bags that I was wearing with some of those outfits. Um, I am a real bag girl and I love Celine bags. My husband bought me this as one of my birthday presents. I think it's the Triumph and it's a combination of linen and leather. The only thing that put me off buying this one was that the sales assistant um, in Harrods where I bought it did tell me that you can't get this wet, you can't wear it with dark denim and also don't get the leather wet. And obviously I live in London um, where it's raining all the time and I love to wear denim. So we'll see. Hopefully it won't get marked because I love it, it's really special. The next one I got, this was another present from him, is this leather bucket bag. And I'm terrible with names, but I will put the link in the description of exactly what it is. This one I loved as well, because it's more of like a, well, they're both crossbody, which I really love because it has to be practical and easy to wear. Um, but this one's slightly more casual, I think, and it fits lots more in it. Um, so that was another birthday present. And then this little one, now this is quite unusual for me. I wouldn't normally wear something this kind of like gaudy, um, but turning 40, I wanted to wear a gold dress. I had this idea that I was gonna wear like a beaded gold dress and, and I found exactly what I had the vision of. It was a Nadine Marabi dress, so I'll share a photo of what that looked like. Um, but I wanted a gold bag to go with it. So this is the Loewe, um, I think it's called Flamenco bag. But again, I'll put the link in the description box. Um, and this I've worn quite a lot since as well. And then to wear with that, I bought these, which are so comfortable. Again, I think being a 40 year old, although I had this same thing when I was 30, I can't wear uncomfortable shoes. And um, see that these are the shoes that I wore for the party. They are by Malone Sulia, um, so comfortable. And I think they work really nicely with the bags. That was another recent purchase. And then because I'm like a mum and I'm always on the run and I do a lot of site visits, I can't be wearing heels all the time. So I wanted to make sure that the Celine bags were very wearable and I would get lots of use out of them. So I also decided, and this was just something I picked up in office, to get lots of trainers. These aren't box fresh. I've been wearing them for the past couple of weeks, um, but these are New Balance, um, so comfortable. And I feel like with trainers, I always struggle to find something that I think is smart enough to wear for a client facing meeting or like a lunch, but I don't wanna wear heels anymore, especially cause it's colder. 
And I think these kind of do work and they make me feel like I'm a little bit in fashion. And then these ones, um, Adidas Gazelles, again, I got them in office and I will share the link down below, but I love how well they tone with the Celine bag. So I've been wearing those on repeat. And then a third pair, I kind of like, when I go shopping, I don't go shopping at all. And then when I go shopping, I shop really hard. So I bought these all in one go. These ones have like a suede, tanny brown finish with the white. And again, they don't match exactly, but I think they work really well. So I've been wearing those loads too. I got this delivery from Diptyque um, a week ago and I've been dying to open it and see what's inside. They sent it to me as a gift, which was so kind. I feel so lucky that they send me stuff because um, I absolutely love their brand. Um, but I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So I'm gonna unbox it now and find out what's inside the bag. It's a big box, it's very heavy. Their packaging is always so beautiful. Let's see what's inside. Yes, it is an advent calendar. How gorgeous is that? So let's open one of them. Oh, and each one's like individually wrapped. That's so nice. So I won't open all of them because we'll be here all day, but that's a little mini candle. That's one of my favorite scents, gorgeous. I never want to chuck away boxes like this when they're this beautiful. Can't see number two, so let's jump to number three. Like that might be another candle. Oh, this is soap, hand soap. My daughter's definitely gonna raid this. She loves an advent calendar and she loves little boxes. I can imagine she's gonna turn this into a shop. Let's pick open one of the big ones. Let's see what number 14 has, whoa. Oh, this is perfume. I just love all their products. Okay. Well, I'm gonna open those all. I'm gonna save some for actual Christmas. Um, for December, so I've got something nice to open then. But that is so lovely, um, and I'm sure you can buy that, so I'll have a look and share the link in the description box where you can buy that from. Well, thank you, Diptyque, what a treat. Okay, so before I unbox the next item, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my party. Um, it was genuinely the best night of my life. I'm gonna share a few photos um, from the night. I was so like undecided whether or not to have a party like from January I just everyone I knew everyone was sick of me talking about it should I have a party shouldn't I have a party I just couldn't decide whether or not to do it because I really just wanted to celebrate um, my birthday in the way that felt authentic to me and that I would enjoy I didn't want to feel like outside pressures to do things that this is what I should do um, so I kept going back and forth I remember I booked like different venues and then I would cancel them and in the end, I ended up talking to someone about it and she shared something with me that I wanted to share with you guys because it really helped me. And even though it was just a party, I feel like I learned a lot about myself and it's like kind of allowed me to develop and reinvent myself as a person, which I need to explain it because I know that sounds a bit bizarre. But basically why I didn't want to have a party is because I am like an introvert, but I said to this lady, I was like, oh, I don't know, like I'm an introvert, I don't like to be center of attention. Like, she was like, tell me what scares you about the idea of the party. And the other thing that scared me was like mixing different people, what if they don't enjoy it? And I think really at the core of it, like I, we do host a lot of parties. We host like massive parties for our kids. We'll do big dinner parties. But I think at the core of it, what I realized was that I didn't feel like I, and this sounds quite deep, but I didn't feel that I was like special enough to have a party just for me. It felt like too much. Um, and it was really interesting, like getting to the core of why I didn't want to do something that was as shallow as having a party. And like, she really got into it. Actually, my, it's my therapist, I'll be honest. I do see a therapist. And um, she said to me, she was like, well, a part of you is an introvert, but there can also be a part of you that's an extrovert. There can be a part of you that enjoys being center of attention, that enjoys like hosting these big events. Um, and that's fine. Like you can be all of those all at once. Like if you do do the party, you might find that for the first five minutes, you're like, oh God, what have I done? This is too much. 
but then you might have a mind like a mindset shift. That's a really tough sentence to say without swearing. Um, and then you might enjoy the rest of the night. And I think like something just lifted. I just felt like suddenly no pressure and I wasn't stressed about it. And I know it's not a big problem in the scheme of things, but like I'm sure some of you guys might have had similar scenarios. And all of a sudden I just felt like I had given myself permission that it was okay. Like it was totally normal to feel a bit anxious about it, but just because I felt a bit anxious about it didn't mean that I wouldn't enjoy it and I didn't want to do it. So I went ahead, had the party, and I have to tell you, it was the best night of my life. I enjoyed it way more than my wedding. I even told my husband that, and I did enjoy my wedding. But I think because it was such a celebration of where I was in life, I was so selective about who I invited. I had about 40 to 45 people. We had it at home. I felt so relaxed, so happy. I'm going to share some of the photos with you, but genuinely, I was just like, I felt like I was floating and beaming with happiness the whole night. So if any of you have a big birthday coming up and you're debating whether or not to have a party, and I'm looking at my friend Selena, who's filming this, because she has the big 4-0 coming up, I really do recommend that you celebrate it and don't let like misconceptions or judgments about yourself hold you back. It's never too late to reinvent yourself. Um, and you don't have to have a big extravagant party, but just make sure you're celebrating it in a way that feels authentic and good to you. And don't worry about what people are going to think. Everyone's going to enjoy your party. And as long as you're inviting the people that really care about you, they're going to have a good time and they're going to want you to have a good time. So I'll share with you now like a few of the um, photos. And one of my highlights, or oh, there were so many highlights, um, was at the very beginning. So we had amazing flowers. Um, Celeste Rose Designs did the flowers. She's been on this channel before. Um, but all day she was installing the flowers. And then we had caterers and they were in the kitchen setting up. We had lighting. Um, they were installing lighting around the garden. We had fireworks, people here. And my kids were like in amongst it all. And we were kind of like... Well, it was October, so we thought we were going to do the party inside, but we had the best weather. So about two hours before the party, we suddenly realised we need to have this party outside. Like, this will be amazing outside. We had a Cuban band. Um, so we started, like, getting all the cushions out of storage and, like, cleaning the fire pit and cleaning the patio and styling it. And I got the kids involved, and they loved it. They were like, teamwork makes the dream work. And I think when it all came together, it was such, like... It really made me like choke up a bit because it looked so beautiful and I couldn't believe that it was all for me. But Oscar looked up at me, my son, who's four, and was like, Mummy, I love your party. We do the best parties. And I was like, me too, Oscar, but it hasn't even started yet. And I actually let the kids, like I intended for them to stay up, but they stayed up till 10.30 and they were like a big part of the party. They know all my friends and family and that everyone loves them. And they loved the, like, the fireworks and they stayed there for the cake. And a lot of my guests said that they remembered their parents' 40th birthday. So there was just like so many magical moments like that, that I just wanted to share that with you guys, that um, it was like the best night of my life. And if you're thinking about having a party, you only live once, so definitely celebrate. So from parties back to interiors, this is part of our new collection with Addison Russ. And I wanted to just unbox one thing with you so you can see what the packaging looks like. So I love the packaging that they've done. It's got our logo as well as theirs. We actually have very similar fonts. Um, and this is our biggest collection that we've done to date. Um, it's got the photo frame. So we've done this in two colors. This is, I think they call this anthracite, but I would describe it as like a dark navy. Um, and we've combined it with bronze because I love that combination. And then I'll show you a few of the other pieces. All everything comes in two colors. So that color as well as this color. So we've done a little clock um, and this has an alarm on it, but it's silent, um, so chic. And I love the little handle detail that runs throughout the whole collection. I don't know if you can see that, um, but that I'm really proud of. And then this one, this one took some convincing that we needed to bring in a really luxurious waste paper bin, but it's one of those products, and when I design product collections, I always like to think, like, what is missing from the marketplace? What would I love but can't find? What would work in my interiors or what would I love for my home? And one thing I've really wanted to get for ages is a beautiful waste paper bin that has a lid. Because if you think about waste paper bins, you always have them down on the ground, and all you see is what's inside. So we've lined the inside with the faux char green. This is all wiped clean. And then we've got this lovely lid and it's got that same um, curved handle detail. And that comes in the dark blue color as well. 
tissue boxes. Ooh, bottom's just fallen off. It's magnetic, so when you put it on, it just like neatly clips in, which is really satisfying. I love a square tissue box, um, so we've only done it in square. And then we've got two boxes. So this box, um, and I've got it here as well in the lighter color, hiding behind my teacup. This one I designed to go on coffee tables. Um, so it's really spacious inside and you can fit remote controls. All the remote controls you wanna hide in your coffee table will go in here and look super chic. And then this one is a slightly smaller um, box. This one, again, you could use on coffee tables. It's not big enough for remote control, um, but I envisage this would be great for like a dressing table with makeup in it, a console in your hall if you wanted to hide your keys. Um, just, you know, you could use it anywhere really. Then we've done trays. So I'll show you the dark one. Um, we wanted to do a decorative tray, so this is more for styling than carrying items, I would say. You could use it, but it's not got any sides. Um, but again, gorgeous finishes and a really great price point. All the trays that I've used in projects before, people used to ask me about, um, but to be honest, they were always so expensive, it wasn't worth sharing and you had to have a trade account. Um, but this one, I mean, other trays that are similar, in kind of quality were costing like 700, 800 pounds. This one is 200 pounds, which I appreciate is still not super cheap, but for the quality, it's amazing value for money. And we've got it in the taupe and that is it. So I just wanted to share with you guys one of the latest collections we've just launched. Next up, we are going back to fashion and I'm gonna be unboxing something from Rose Waterhouse, which is a brand that I discovered on Instagram. And again, I've been having this, I've had this in my house for about two or three weeks and been desperate to look at it, but I've managed to resist so I can unbox it with you. This I wanted because I was planning on going to Mexico for my birthday when I was undecided about having a party. And I thought this was the perfect outfit. Look at the details, gorgeous, look at the fabric. I'll have to do a little try on, I think. But it's got a skirt and then a matching top, which is kind of like a crop top, which I wouldn't normally wear, but when I saw it on their Instagram, because the, top, the um, skirt goes quite high, you don't have a lot of your tummy on show. Um, but I love that. It makes me want to go on holiday and I don't actually have any holidays booked right now, but I'm going to book a holiday just so I can wear this. So that is all Rosewater House. And then I also got a shirt, which is very wearable all year round. Such lovely fabrics. That would be great as a cover up over a bikini and I love all the details on the buttons. These aren't actually for me, so I'm unboxing a present that I bought for my newborn niece, um, but it's from our collection with Coes, and I'm sure she won't mind. I couldn't resist, I love spoiling my nieces and nephews, and I couldn't resist getting her some monogram towels because, you know, you can't have an auntie that's got a monogram linen collection and not have monogram towels. And I got her this little baby towel, how cute is that with her initials? Um, and then I've got her all the towels for her bathroom. They do a towel bundle. So I'll put the link in the description box for that. Got her quite a few of these baby towels because, you know, no one has time for that much laundry when they have a newborn. And then this is one of the monogram cushions that I got her. She's got the most gorgeous nursery that I helped my sister design. Um, it has the same wallpaper as Ava's bedroom the safari wallpaper from our collection with from Antau. I'll show what that looks like on the screen. Um, but she's got it in the pink color. So I went for the monogram cushion, um, but with the pink embroidery. I think that looks so cute. Next up, while we're still with Coes, this is one of the products that I've launched since I was last on this channel. And it is a bedspread, an oversized bedspread. And I am so excited about this because we worked on the product development of this, this is manufactured exclusively for us, um, for over a year. I knew that I wanted to have a thin bedspread. Um, this one like layers up so nicely on a bed and it gives that really rel relaxed, rustic look, but it always like looks very tailored at the same time, which is really hard to get right. 
So it's got such a lovely soft feel and you actually have the option of two different textures. So you can have this kind of like loose linen or it's got like a weave on the reverse, um, which I also love and you could mix it up for a different look. So it's very versatile. And I picked this color because I felt like this is the color, this taupey gray color that would work with most color schemes. And um, it's got a good weight to it. And I'm gonna share, we launched it two weeks ago and I used it in one of our golf projects. So I'll share what that looks like in situ because I can appreciate it doesn't necessarily look the best draped over me. Um, but honestly, this is one of the best things we've launched. Um, and it's a really good price point as well. It's 120 pounds, whereas bedspreads that we would source for our projects before were like 600 plus pounds, which is just not realistic for most people. So I'm so proud that we've been able to launch this. And we've only launched it in one color so far because the minimum order quantities where we are manufacturing this for ourselves were very high. So um, Co said to me, please, can you just pick one color? So of course it had to be taupe, but if you guys like it and we buy more, um, then we can order it in more colors. So if you love it, go and check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. I feel terrible because Jo Malone sent me this package months ago, but this is like a reflection of what my life's been like, that I've not been able to film YouTube and I've been traveling so much. I basically was away for all of June, July, August and September. Um, so I'm just getting around to open it now, but it was part of their Just Because campaign. And this made me laugh when I opened it because it says, I'll complete your candle cupboard. So they've obviously been watching the YouTube. I did a tour of our utility room where I shared our candle cupboard. Um, and we have a lot of Jo Malone in there already because I'm a huge fan of the brand. I absolutely love their products. So thank you Jo Malone for sending it. So first up, we've got the Vitamin E Hand Treatment Cream. It's gorgeous. I've had that before and it smells so good. So I'm going to put that in our guest lay. Oh, the pomegranate noir perfume. This is beautiful. I love all their scents, to be honest. And the packaging's timeless. They haven't changed it since the 90s, but you just don't need to. And then let's see what's in the big box. Oh, wow. To Sophie, as a valued friend of Jo Malone, we're treating you to a present just because. How kind is that? Oh, we're also finding additional present in clothes, which is for you to share with a loved one. Oops. <laughs> I'll have to put them back in the box to give them to someone. Keep the spirit of just because by spreading a little bit of cheer to others whenever you can. Love, Jo Malone, London. Well, that is very kind. Thank you. So we've got the perfume that we already saw. One of their diffusers, I'm a huge fan of their diffusers because I love the black rods. Um, I think they're called rods, sticks, whatever. Um, and that's pomegranate noir as well. So that looks super chic. I use, I use that in my own bathroom. And the lime basil and mandarin candle, which is such a lovely fresh scent. And then the matching soap. So thank you, Jo Malone. Sorry that I haven't unboxed it for months, but I do love it. So thank you. And that will be a great asset to my candle cupboard. Next thing I wanted to share with you that I just recently took delivery of was the latest pieces of art from our collection with Fromental. So we launched this as a wall covering this year and I used it in one of our amazing projects that we shared on YouTube. I'll share an image of that primary bedroom now, um, but it's available in two colors. So this is the more neutral colorway um, and it comes in the large and the small. And then here we have the color that we used in the bedroom and it's just so much beautiful detail and it feels like very English, very heritage vibes. We actually use this art in one of our golf projects and um, so I can't wait to share with you what it looked like in that room. And I'll share the link in the description box for all of these pieces of art so if you like them you can check them out. Okay guys, that is a wrap for today's video. I've loved filming this. We're actually sat in my guest bedroom at home. And just before I go, I wanted to point out this amazing screen behind me. This is also from Fromental. And um, this was the first wallpaper I designed for them. And I named it after my daughter, Ava. Um, so it was very special to me. And I decided to put the screen in here. But it's been such a pleasure being back with you. I did have a little bit of a wobble over summer thinking about possibly giving up YouTube because honestly, like the filming schedule of filming every two weeks on top of running a business, being a mum to young children was a lot. Um, but the thing that made me decide to come back was reading all of your comments, because I read all the comments, even though I wasn't like uploading any content and seeing how supportive you are of the channel, how much you love it, 
really inspired me to come back. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit different, um, but it's just been nice to have a catch up with you. And if you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you do because Coming Your Way is some of the best project tours we've ever done. I'm so proud of them. They're amazing and they will be on this channel very soon. Um, but if you want more regular updates, you can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Sophie Patterson Interiors. Until then, I'll see you soon.